Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, and I'm here today to talk about guitar pedals being used with keyboards. Yes, it can be done. And, you know, it kind of bugs me that a lot of keyboardists will upgrade their keyboard to get some kind of built-in effects in the keyboard that they're upgrading to that their current keyboard doesn't have. You can remedy that easily by getting some kind of a pedal, a guitar pedal, to remedy that effect. And let me give you an example. Our band, we're going to be doing Won't Get Fooled Again by The Who, and you know the tune, you know, it starts. Well, you know the tune. Okay, so I happen to be using a Casio CGP700 for this. I'm using a drawbar organ for this. I've set up some of the effects already, but it's not complete. I need something like a wah pedal to make that complete. And rather than upgrading my keyboard to something that would automate that for me and automation doesn't really work for me i want to be able to control that myself with my own pedal and my own foot so what we're doing here is i got myself a hold of a vox v845 which is this pedal right here okay it's about 69.95 just about anywhere in the United States. And Vox is the originator of the original wah pedal that was heard in the 60s on things like Voodoo Child from Jimi Hendrix, that kind of thing. This is the pedal that will do that. And it's built solid and sturdy. Vox V845, current implementation of this pedal so what we're gonna do you just heard what I did with this keyboard and basically this is one of the pedals that you can take your line out from your keyboard plug it into the instrument in and the other end the amplifier out can go to your amp or to your DAW or whatever okay but there are other pedals guitar pedals where you can't do that because the line outputs are a little bit higher voltage or whatever you want to call it it has a hotter signal than a guitar high z signal so the way around that is you want to get something like a reamplifier but those cost 200 to 500 dollars there's a workaround get a microphone attenuator about minus 20 db they cost 20 to 30 dollars and basically voila you are done so you can do the same thing there for more information about that uh, if there's enough concern about that I'll put out another video that's more specific but for right now with this going directly from the line out of a keyboard your typical keyboard to the instrument in of this Vox V845 wah pedal and the amplifier out to the, your amplifier or your mixer, or your DAW input, or your audio input, whatever. All right, so you heard. All right, so what I'm going to do is put this in between the keyboard and my amp. So let's set that up. set up. Let's try it out again, this time with the wah pedal.
So anyway, now you get the picture. So it makes a humongous difference and all it is is a $69.95 wah pedal in between your instrument and your amp or your instrument and your DAW or your instrument and your preamp, whatever. So that's great. Now, because our band is going to be doing this song, I have a way of making this really authentic other than just getting the right tone on my particular keyboard. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.